Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to get Obby Armor in Fissure of Woe. Step 1, go to the Temple of Aegis, Zenku Corridor, or Chantry of Secrets. Then we're going to go to the Statue of Balthazar and kneel to summon the Ghost, unless he is already there. You can talk to him and it costs 1 Platinum to get into the Fissure of Woe. You can also use the Fissure of Woe scroll in either of these locations, including Embark Beach. Also, double check to make sure you didn't forget to bring all of the Platinum and materials needed for the armor that you are crafting. Consider bringing lockpicks for the chest. I have enough for a headpiece and shoes. You do not want to go in here and find out that you do not have enough platinum or materials. Also, don't forget to bring your heroes and have all of your builds set up. I will have my builds linked in the description down below. So when you first enter Fissure Woe, you want to take out these first couple of groups. If they attack the Eternal Ghost and kill them, your party will wipe and the mission will fail. So doing this entire run should be easy as long as you have good heroes. And if you don't have good heroes, you can always ask to see if someone will let you borrow their heroes. Or use a concept. Also, I end up killing more foes in the beginning than what is necessary. I just want to make sure that he does not die, because if he does, I will have to restart. So at least get the mobs that are close to him and take them out. You can also do his quest, which will lead you to the first tower, and you can kill all the foes there, and go into the tower and kill the last group. Otherwise, it's not a necessary quest to do for obsidian armor, so... I will skip it. You can avoid many of the skeleton groups and also these are probably the hardest groups to fight in this entire run. If your heroes can't handle it or if you are uncertain, take your time. Once you get to the Eternal Weaponsmith, take his quest and complete it. All you have to do is go to the tower and kill all of the enemies. There are no tricky groups or anything so just don't over aggro or get killed by the roaming skeleton groups along the way. As long as your heroes are good then there is no worry. This is an easy quest. After you have killed all of the enemies, Go up to the top of the tower and talk to the internal forge master. Now we are going to defend the temple of woe. I usually go down and kill one group and then go to the other side and always keep an eye on the top. Enemies will go up there and if they kill the forge master you will fail and have to start all over. You can also keep an SOS hero or player up there or wait for the foes to get closer to the top and pick them off as they come. Otherwise it's an easy quest, just don't let him die. Now accept the rewards and get his next quest, restore the temple of war. The other quest is unnecessary. This will be the final quest before we can get our obsidian armor. We just have to go into this cave and kill 5 seeds of corruption. This quest is also easy if you have good heroes. Most of the enemies will pop up out of nowhere so if you try to rush this you may be overwhelmed. And I disconnected there for a minute and we have completed the quest and it only took about 17 minutes and like a minute of that was pretty much me being disconnected. Now we just run back to the forge master, accept the quest reward, and now we can purchase our obsidian armor. Make sure you don't double click otherwise you'll end up buying the same piece of armor twice which is not going to be fun. So we got the obby armor that we wanted. Also here are the builds I used. All builds will be linked in the description down below. Otherwise I used four E-Surge Mesmers, a Bip Healer, an incoming Channeling Ritualist, and an ST Ritualist. Oh and by the way the old school REQ9 Chaos Axe I got had perfect mods. <laughs>